Everyone in the e-commerce industry is recently talking about the misrep presentation error. There has been a very big update recently about this policy, which is causing suspensions for e-commerce stores left and right. Whenever you are doing drop shipping or you have a brand with real stock, if you got hit with a misrep presentation error, in this video I will show you exactly what has been updated regarding the misrep presentation policy, why you're instantly getting disapproved or after running a few days on Google Ads and how to fix the misrepresentation error in your account. And one hint, it's not simply just pressing the review button in your Merchant Center account. If you already watch countless of YouTube videos or you just press the review button hoping that Google made a mistake, today in this video, I will show you exactly what has been changed and what you need to implement on your account to not even fix this issue, but also prevent it from happening. All right, without further ado, let's dive right into my screen. So here you can actually see that I made a Miro flow chart regarding this topic. Uh, there has been a really big update regarding the misrepresentation error recently. I've already made a bunch of videos, but this is the biggest update so far. Uh, I've broken it everything down to chronological flows and checks. So you know, need to know exactly what you need to fix in your account to avoid this issue and to fix it right now. So to clarify for who this video is, you're actually a motivated e-commerce entrepreneur uh, looking for making profit from Google Ads. You're either doing drop shipping or you're having a real brand with stock. Uh, then there are basically two suspended scenarios. You didn't run any ads before and get suspended right away when you just started your Merchant Center account or you, you run some ads for just a few days, let's say less than 10 to 14 days and you got suspended back then. Uh, maybe you tried already to watch many YouTube videos without even luck being lucky and, and get it done or you just hit the review button hoping that Google made a mistake but that was actually not the case so you're still struggling with the misrepresentation that actually looks like this based on this misrepresentation error you don't know anything what to change so that's a very annoying thing also when you hover over the gray text you can see if this is only about the free listing about the shopping listing or the remarketing listing so let's say you face this issue in your account what to do and what has been updated so actually there are two scenarios. First of all, you have the automated check. This is actually the program which is called the gear loose from the back end of the Merchant Center team. And they're helping to scan your website with AI to clarify if you have something wrong on your website. They check for the matching information from your business inside the Merchant Center account together with all the policies that need to be in place. They check the history which you have with Google with previous account they check what IP location your account is created and where your business registration is actually located together with the owner of your business. And they can grant you misrepresentation directly after they found something suspicious. And the second scenario is that they do a manual or a human check, as they would say, in the account. Uh, you would say if there you disagree with this issue, then you can see uh, if it's still there, you can see which check they actually did. And in case that is the manual uh, check, you see directly that the AI is pointing out something but the human also verified that this is the case and that's why they didn't unsuspend your account yet and if you fix the issue and you pressed a review right away that doesn't mean anything because most of the time the gear loose ai system from merchant center isn't making any mistakes they feel still find something but it's just very annoying that they point out what is actually the problem so you don't know exactly what to do so therefore check in five minutes the final steps that you i'm going to point out right here and they are going to check for the brand credibility for the google visitor right because you need to understand that the google system is actually built on trust when someone is looking for something on google they land on your website it needs to be credible actually right now so because the merchant center employee is actually going to spend five minutes in your account uh, and on your website to see if everything is all right so then this is basically the merchant center chronological flow and checks and by the way if this process sounds like an absolute nightmare to you and you're wasting a lot of time and energy for this process make sure to click on the link in the description to see if we are the right fit to help you solve the misrepresentation error for your e-commerce store this has been proven to work and the fastest way to get back on track with profitable google advertising Without further ado, let's dive right back into the presentation. So what has been happening in your account? First of all, you are going to send your uh, feed to Shopify uh, from Shopify or from WooCommerce to Merchant Center. Uh, you either use MultiFeed or Simprosis as just a case. Uh, then instantly there will be a small check around 
to see the functioning of your website. Uh, here you can catch actually the first misrepresentation error or the website need improvement on the free listing. Uh, because when you just connected your Shopify store to Merchant Center, they only check the free listing because your ad account is not connected. So let's say you apply for the free listing here. The first check will be done. If it's disapproved, you'll get a small check again, uh, but they don't really point out the issue. So you need to fix it. And if it's approved, you can go in the next step, but most likely because you're watching this video, you are in the suspension loop. So therefore, what you actually need to do is fix your website, check videos on YouTube, for example, like this one to understand the cause and issues of this problem. Uh, you need to hire an expert to get this done for you because it's taking a lot of time and energy finding and fixing the solutions so it's better to leverage the knowledge of an expert who has been doing this for a while and check my updated framework about this topic because there i mentioned literally everything you need to change on your website to get approved for merchant center so you have basically two things you have the free basic framework which i created a while ago or the updated one that which i actually update almost every week and there are copy and paste templates in the description as well so you can save time and money and actually a lot of energy and headaches by implementing the copy and paste frameworks. And what I don't recommend to do is don't apply um, any fixes on your website if you don't know exactly what you're doing and instantly press the review button in your Merchant Center account. So if you don't change nothing on your website and you instantly hit the review button, you get this approved right away for wasting Google's time and also your own time. So definitely not do that. And also watch out with like cheap experts uh, from any platform because most of the time I get many DMs for people that are permanently suspended because they hope for the best luck. They just hit the review button, wasting everyone's time. And after a few reviews, you actually hit a cool down period as well. So that's very important to do and fix your website before actually doing a review. So in case you got approved, you connect the Google Ads account. Uh, you try to run any shopping or PMAX campaign. But actually, then there is a second check what they are doing on your website as well. Because first of all, I said you have the free listing, which they check. And then you have the paid listing, which means the performance max or the shopping campaigns in your account. So this is the biggest check they actually do uh, in your account because they are going to verify if people that are Googling for any product are uh, landing on a legitimate website, which is yours in this case. So if you have any missing information, you need to double check this as well. So what do they actually check in the first check and the second check? Uh, they check if you have consistent company details. They check if you have all company uh, policies in place. They check if you don't have any broken links. They check if you don't have any blurry images, for example. Uh, they check if your website has a legitimate and professional look and feel. And they also check your Google Ads history, like if you pay all the invoices uh, from your account. That can be from your own IP address, your computer registration number, your nomine or your own name. Like everywhere, they will find if you have unpaid balance. And that's what they can call the misrepresentation error actually in your account. And what is really important to also realize, if people are looking to buy any product on Google Ads and they land on your website, they check with a human feel if your website is legit to buy from. So what I see most of the time happening is that people just rush to make a website in order to go live as soon as possible. But what you need to realize is that you're going to invest your own time and money inside Google Ads. And that will only be profitable if your website is 100% professional, or good looking, has no broken links and things like that. So actually that is the misrepresentation error all about together with the the website need improvement because Google is simply checking if you're a legitimate website, you have a good functioning website for people to actually buy from you because the thing what they want is trust from the visitors. So they will use Google again, using your ad spend to drive the right clicks. So that is actually a bit of the back end perspective. Uh, what we see as a general topic regarding this misrepresentation error. And if you're successful, um, just like the account we fixed in the screenshot, you can see there Google Merchant Center user, uh, your Merchant Center account, blah, blah. This requested review for the misrepresentation error has been completed and no longer appears in your Merchant Center account. If you have questions, uh, blah, 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 reach out to us. And also what is happening recently uh, as a security is that if your Merchant Center account is suspended and it's linked to your Google Ads account, it will su be suspended right away. Or if it's not linked and it's created on the same email, they will suspend it anyway, just for the sake of extra security of protecting the ecosystem from Google. And I want to also be uh, jumping back to this part. You need to be 
actually very cautious nowadays because a lot of people claim to have an insider but this is very hard inside the merchant center ecosystem because the moment you hit the review button somewhere in the world like a google employee is going to review your website so we have seen people all across the world visiting the website and checking different things so when people actually claim to have an insider most of the time it's just a marketing tactic to get your money so in case everything is successful after the second check you will be actually fixing the misrepresentation error and will be approved live for testing profit and scaling so with that being said now you know exactly what has been updated regarding the misrepresentation error so the most logical next step is to check the recommendation video after this where i show you exactly all points you need to have in place on your website to fix the misrepresentation error so you can simply copy and paste the things that i already pointed out there that are proven to work going for an unblock as fast as possible and lastly if you got out of this video make sure to put a thumbs up and leave a comment behind if you have any questions i see you in the recommendation video